first thing you got to do? No, no. No. Explain. Six directions. When do you do it? Before contact. Before contact. So when that band runs into you, it's there. In the old school, they, they said it a different way. They said, uh, movement before contact. That movement means expansion from the center. The second part of the statement was kuzushi upon contact. When he touches you, he's gone. What is that? That's rotation. This is not rotation. This is going out straight in all directions from your one point. Which means your back is going that way, your front is going this way, your sides, your top, your bottom, everything is going away from one point. The only thing that doesn't move is one point. Because everything is expanding from there. Then when you begin to turn at the moment of contact, that's kazushi upon contact. Which should be as how much? As much as necessary. As much as necessary. <laughs> and as little as possible. Little as possible. <laughs> uh, the technique is there for training certain aspects. It's not something you'd ever do in reality. The moment that person comes in, he's already running into it. It's over. Okay. Well, how much movement? But I have focus. I don't need a lot of movement, but I have focus. What is my focus? Yes, expanding, but also my shoulder energy is sinking below my elbow. So the minute he hits me, he's going up. Because down creates up. So let's slow it down a little bit and let's work with that a little more uh, intentionally. Okay. We've got a good grasp now. It should be obvious when you're doing, and by the way, when he, when he grasps like this before I've done anything, this is the foundation of what I mentioned earlier called Kotai training, first level, solid body. This is Saito Sensei's explanation. It's, he grabs you as strong as he can and you haven't moved yet. Now move. This is Kotai training. The reality is that's one part of Kotai training. There's a lot more to it. But that, that's exemplary. So when he's there, I've got to sink my shoulder energy. I'll make sure I'll be clear about this because it confused me for a long time. I'm not sinking my shoulder energy out my elbow. I'm sinking it below my elbow. And I'm sinking my elbow energy below my wrist. What does that mean? There's never a straight line of key to him. This is the foundation of Koku Ho. Or if you like in the old days, they called it Reiki Ho. Without lifting, you can take it as high as you want. Now, reverse the direction. When you reverse it, open up your chest. Let the energy rise up your chest and sink down your back. Closing. 